Welcome aboard, sailors. I'm Cap Punkin, and I'm hungry for some Dark Souls, too. Whew. All right, here we go. Second boss fight of the day. Of the morning, actually. Well, I just woke up a while ago. Here she comes. Scorpio, bitch. Yeah, she's, st she's still pretty tanky. Again! Leading with that, you stupid, arrogant bitch. I can't dodge it. Why are you so strong? Mmm. Ah! Why is she so damn strong? What the hell? I have 50 dexterity and S scaling in dexterity with a fast hitting weapon. I should be... It's not about hitting her. It's about dodging her attacks. I gotta remember that. I keep thinking that I, I just... You see, I'm watching a Bloodborne walkthrough while I'm doing this. So I'm thinking that... I'm thinking in Bloodborne terms, but no. That's not what you should be doing. You should not act as if you're playing Bloodborne in this game. You have to be careful. This is a defensive game. That's, that's why the shield is so overpowered in this game. Because it all applies to defense and evasion. We have enough defense to survive her attacks, but we need to be able to dodge them as well. She hits too damn hard. Ah, uh, poor timing. She's a bit more complicated than the last center, that's for sure. Okay, calm down. The rush from fighting the last sinner and beating her on the first try is getting to me. I'm getting cocky. But I know we can take her because we got it down to half health that first try. We just got to take her seriously. Don't, don't bullshit around. And do our best. She, she can two hit us, so we gotta dodge often. Very often. The tail attack is a bit bitchy, though. I'm, I'm having a hard time getting the timing down for it. But I will. Hit her, damn it. All three of those attacks missed. And she's a cheap bitch, too. Wait. I... Oh my god. Was it that easy this whole time? Ow! Okay, take note, those tail, that tail attack hits very quick. I need to approach her from the side. Yeah, 
Hey, we got a few hits on her. There we go. <laughs> you just—you literally just walk to the side. No. Are you kidding? No, no. Okay, can't panic. Can't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. It's bullshit. Just don't panic. Okay, I do not like this move. At all. Very unpredictable. I was I was actually guessing on that. Yeah, I could not see your tail. Oh, this will be glorious. <laughs> you can't hit me anymore. <laughs> your fucking magic's gonna miss every fucking time now. <laughs> Screw you, you cheating bitch! Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay, good progress so far. That spear move, though, is bullshit. This again! Ah. Cheating bitch. Where are you going? Where are you going? Is she, I think she's following me now. Ah! Got her! Alright, this is good. We should be able to access a brand new area now. Somewhere. I think. Is it this way? And we are beating these bosses without any help from anyone else. No snow white phantoms. Um, no nothing. Mm. Okay, so for okay, a tip for anyone doing that. The uh, magic bolts, all you have to do is run to the left or, or is walk, don't run, to the left or right. And you will dodge every single magic bolt that she can throw at you. At all of them. E even the ones when she builds up double spells. The, the ridiculous ones that don't look, that look unavoidable, they're not. They have horrible tracking. But if you dodge and panic, they will hit you. you keep that in mind, guys. Visions of bonfire. Yes, please, bonfire. I did it. Yeah, I did it too. So did everybody reading that. So congratulations. Okay, this is the doors of Pharos. Visions of bonfire. Where's the bonfire? Um, I've never been in this area, by the way. This is completely new to me. Hey, we, we, we got a, a Mastodon, yeah. Black Power Ranger from the Mighty Morphin series. He was a Mastodon. He was my favorite Ranger. I like elephants. Wait, 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 what was that? A Mastodon's Halberd. Aw, oh, shit. Oh, and look at this thing. 
Like not not that uh, this. Look at this thing. Look at this sucker. Oh man. See, I'm just I'm just looking at how it how it strikes. Oh, that that is cool. That is so cool. How how does the one hand hand work? Oh, it's just like the Black Knight halberd. Okay. I'm gonna keep that for later. Okay, we got out our katana again. What are you? The hell are you? Oh, it's like uh, Gavlan, the tradesman. And I've seen better. A germ warrior helmet. What's this look like? <laughs> it shows off our beard pretty well, but we don't have a big old bush beard like like the, those guys do. So it doesn't it doesn't look as cool on us. Yeah, this is cool. All right, there's our bonfire. Oh man, I'm gonna take a quick break and then I'll be right back, guys. Whoa, dude, dude. <laughs> it looks like a giant dragon skull or something. Oh, that's like the entrance to the Rat King's lair, from what from uh, the uh, chambers of the Fallen or something like that. It's like Grave of the Fallen. It's a different area entirely. I don't think I've been there yet, but uh, it looks a lot like it. You can probably get into the Rat King's area through that. Anyways, I'll see you guys later, all right? We actually did it, yeah! Hey, everybody, throw your swords in the air. Yeah, raise your swords. My brotherhood of the Rising Blades, raise your swords with honor. We have beaten the Scorpionist Najka, and she fell to our blades. With her terrible might and poisonous tails. We have beaten her. And we have unlocked the doors of Faros. However you pronounce that. How, yeah. Anywho. March on, my brothers. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, sailors. You can help me burn cancer by clicking here. Join my crew if you're hungry for more. And I'll see you all in the next one. Sail on!